So I've got my parking ticket. It was one pound for two hours. Not bad. I'm delighted. Welcome to Coatwater Country Park in Swindon, just off junction 15 of the M4. I, I'm absolutely astounded as to how big it is. It has a feel to it where it reminds me of a very, very, very small version of a Scottish lock. I don't have any food, sorry. You can have a tree ball soft mint. I've just left this sort of busy play area part and then you come into this enchanted forest type of walkway and it's this transition into this open space and there's no people. Bevis, the story of a boy, is a story written, as you see on the plaque, it's a story written by Richard Jeffries, and it's about his childhood, and he would go out on this very lake. Maybe I should read the book. Bevis, the story of a boy. Ooh, it's a bit smoky. I don't know if that's just people smoking wacky backy or if that's actual bonfire smoke. Well, I'm not high. Must be bonfire smoke. I found myself a jetty. I mean, if I were to go skinny dipping, this would be the place. You can just imagine, you know, leaving all your clothes there and then jumping off. Oh, oh, is this safe? Oh my, mm. I tell you what, if I see a fish, I'm gonna absolutely freak. I'm only one foot above the water here, and I'm not very good with fish swimming in water. It scares the living daylights out of me. One time I was in Thailand, and I was swimming in the sea, and I saw the fish, and then I came running out the sea. What's a fish doing in the sea? It's one of my more embarrassing moments. It, it truly is. It does what it says on the tin. It's a country park, and you really do feel like you're in the country. It's remarkably unspoilt, considering that surrounding it is just built up areas of 1960s houses. That's a person behind me, or a swan. Hello, Mr. Swan. Oh, hello. Maybe they might quite like a tree ball soft mint. I mean, if they've never brushed their teeth. I mean, swan breath. Don't worry, I have not given any swans a tree ball soft mint. I could honestly stay here all day, but I'm not going to. I think they're feeding the swans something. They seem very friendly around here. I wonder how many dead bodies are lurking around here. Oh, no, that, that was just a log. I would actually stop and hug a tree, but there's people a few meters behind me. And I think if they were to come round the corner, and see this bloke, alone, in a forest, hugging a tree. They might call the police. Or oh, sod it. No one's looking. Mm. I love trees. Mmm, sparkly. For me, that's a sight 
that never fails to make me happy is water glistening on... Did I say water glistening on water? I meant the light glistening, the sunlight glistening off the water. It just... Oh! I would say this is one of my new favourite places. I don't know why I only put two hours in the car. I've, 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 I've got so enthralled with all the beauty, the natural beauty around me, that I'm now walking to get back to my car in time. Oh. You see, I've got to get all the way to the end before half past three. I've really got to get a spurt on, but marvelous bit of power walking, you know, tone up those glutes. Not that they're untoned. I, I, I go to the gym four times a week. I have toned glutes, but you know, form of expression. I cannot believe for a moment there you thought I had untoned buttocks. 